Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be restoring this iPad. So that means we're going to erase everything from it, start from zero. Let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, we are going to go into general. Under general, scroll all the way down. See right here, it says reset, shut down. What we're going to choose is reset. From reset, we have all these options here. And what we want to do in this case is erase all content and settings. So we're just going to press right there. It's going to ask us for a passcode if you guys have one. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. And we're going to press erase. We're going to select erase again. And then the process will start. Make sure you guys have enough battery. So if you don't, if you don't have at least 50%, it up some electricity because you guys will need that battery in order for this to run like it should now how long does this take well for most of you it's gonna take about five minutes for some of you with older iPads this process could take 30 minutes or so and if you guys have a really old iPad <laughs> such an iPad 2 or an iPad 3 then this process might take a little bit longer than 30 minutes just because he has to re-download everything and Apple already slowed down those iPads so they are running a little bit slower. So if you're planning of selling your iPad then I wouldn't do that just before you're selling it. I would do that definitely, definitely a day before or a few hours before so you guys can even set it up because they will want to test out your iPad so you will want to set it up and don't worry, you can, can set up without using an Apple ID, without using a passcode. So you guys could do that if you want to. So the person who's buying it from you can just test it out and you guys wouldn't have any of your personal information inside of your iPad. Anyways, right now it's doing the restoration. That's how it goes. So once that loading bar is done, it's going to take you back here. That means you're all done. Everything has been erased. From here, you would have to set it up from brand new. Okay. So like I said, if you guys are selling it, you should set it up. So go ahead. Don't choose an Apple ID. Just put in set up later. And that way you don't have to put any of your personal information. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.